So we're going to do the quest, How the Mighty Are Fallen. We are in Ilsabad. Um, now, last time we played MSQ, uh, I was fleeced by a wandering tax Lalafell. Um, she followed me around and she demanded money. Um, I'm just going to check. She's uh, she's not around at the, at the moment. I, I, I added her as a, as a, as a friend. So I could just check and be and know I'm safe. She's not online. So we shouldn't be getting fined today. It's good. It's good. Uh, right. Let's crack on. Let's crack on with some Endwalker. I'm gonna go on my fast mount. Oh yeah, this was the area where I had to do that stupid stealth mission. You need Hell's Kia Extreme. Anyone fancy it? Could do a few clears. It's quick to try for man. I mean, are, are you are you thinking of doing it unsynced? Uh, there's not many jobs that I could use that would make it worthwhile unsynced. Um, I've only got. My highest level jobs are tanks, so they're not going to do much DPS. And my DPS jobs, the highest is 81, so... Yeah, unsynced. Oh my god. Um, I, I won't. I won't. I was tempted. I was tempted, but I don't want to be distracted. If I if I don't make MSQ progress, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be upset with myself. So I will I will drop out. I will not do that. Um, but go for it, uh, Cyrus Borg, um, Darth is talking about doing some um, uh, some unsynced. I think it's Stormblood. One of them is a Stormblood. I don't, I don't know which one Emanation is. Um, but yeah, Darth's looking at doing it. It was weird for like the next five missions in this area too. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Where am Shush. I going? Where am I going? I'm, I, I'm completely lost. I'm supposed to be going to the quest marker and I'm, and I'm heading to the etherite. Heaven toward. Oh, I, for some reason I thought it was uh, Shadowbringers uh, one. James distracted. Never happened. Exactly, Corey. Exactly. I am a man of focus, determination, and sheer flapping will. Oh, I'm going to get a pair of trousers. Except. Hmm? Sorry, I was, uh, I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave space around the fire for the others. As you can tell, they're in a far worse state than me. We were planning to look for somewhere warmer or with more food, but they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health. Look uh, I will leave the party. Yes, Darth, sorry. Uh, I will leave the party. Oh, no, not disband. Leave. There you go. I'll leave you guys to uh, to do what you're going to do. Seems like a true story, to be honest. <laughs> I I uh, I don't know how they got in the pickle jar. I can treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it will take time for the fire to do its work. Now would be a good occasion to make use of a mana lane's tincturers, tincture, tincturers. The ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? Determination. The numbness is beginning to subside, though I suspect once the fire dies, it will return with a vengeance. Tincture, tincture. Warming tincture? I've never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you heard all of the city? Though calling that seems absurd after what's happened, it's nothing but ruins now. The few buildings still standing offer no more than meager protection from wind and snow, 
Food production, water purification. The Magitech that sustained us has come to a grinding halt. What machina that remains operational cannot be run for lack of ceruleum. Of course, cerulea engines is full of the stuff, for all the good it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. Where's that music coming from? All is well, yes, never better. Tincture. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? Ha <laughs> ha, it was a joke. <laughs> if I laugh, tis that I may not weep, so said the poet. Alas, my tears would freeze on my cheek ere they fell. We are the blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of our great empire, while our brethren lie dead or live on as puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Garlemald was no more. In a cacophony of gunfire, explosions and screams was our beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose the disheveled remnants, their lavish finery caked in ash as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace, each bearing a fragment of stone or metal, an offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction. A hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to plead with the horde. I fled with my health, if not my conscience preserved. Now I wait with my cow with my fellow cowards for our final judgment. You don't hear any music? But there is. <laughs> but there is. What do you want? Team Chur. Mmm, a tincture. May as well drink it, I suppose. Oh, this one gets a cutscene. Radio, in it. Radio, in it. This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it. We use them to listen to messages sent by others, even over great distances. There are different types, but this model is by far the most popular, made with quality components crafted from the finest ore. Sourced from Locus Amonis, that is. Not all that useful since the capsule fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up like all the others, because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon, an ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral home Homeland of Locus Amonis. We may have founded an empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hoped to, we always hoped to take back what was once ours. It is a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Despite everything, I believe that Emperor Varus yet lives, and that he speaks to us through our radios. It was a cunning strategy faking his murder, he must have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself, that he may one day make his triumphant return. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Emperor Varus would not be defeated so easily. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> oh, it's a tree. I was like, what the hell has happened to the game? I was like, what is, what is, what is all this? Um, it's a tree branch, like, right in my camera view. <laughs> that was odd. What's that? Teencher. So this is what you gave the others. Thank you. I'll save it for later. Actually, I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group staying in, Latro La La uh, in Latrum? I saw Legatus Virgilis troops heading towards the Magna Glaciers a few days ago. Are they the ones you encountered? Camp Broken Glass, you call it. And Virgilia and her men are all there now. Hmm. So how did you reach the Magna Glaciers? Did you cross the mountains on foot? 
airships, then there might be a way to... Vicinia, where is everyone? It, is something the matter? A voice from inside, you say? You must be imagining things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps a baby elm must found its way into the house. It wouldn't be the first time. Without the soldiers to scare them off, wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people too. I've just had an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat a Legatus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. If you've a mind to continue helping us, perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers living there, people whose job was to extract Cerulean. They still do, from what we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share their fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange. Lots of food. And that's something we don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to even reach their den, we'd have to make our way past all those creatures. Would you be willing to go in our place? We only need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the tappers. You best watch out for baby Almastis whilst we're away. Yeah, because we don't believe you. Mm? Oh, yes, of course. If I see any, I'll be sure to shoot them away. To reach Tappers Den, you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you'd rather not take the risk, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky too, so it's easier to just look for someone standing guard outside. However you decide to head there, please be careful. We're going across the lake. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go miles around. If it can support a man's weight, it can support a motorbike's weight. It's not even that part of the song. I just want it to be. I'm fairly certain it's going to be this tunnel, right? Yeah, there's the guards. Hello there, Burly Tapper. What would you like for fuel? Who goes there? How'd you find us? What do you mean, I stand out like a sore thumb? Hmm. If the purebloods over at Victor's Spoils hadn't given away our location, you'd have never found us. Those stuck-up arseholes. Thought they could come waltzing in here demanding Cerulean with nothing to offer in return. <laughs> Looks like the boot's on the other foot now. The capital's gone to shite. So they've resorted to sending you to negotiate. I know your game, Sellsword. They think we'll give in to intimidation. They've got another thing coming. Coming! 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 Oops, that was the wrong button. Coming! Shush! <laughs> well, let's have a look inside. There you are. Just after you left, Licinia asked me to go catch up with you in case you needed a hand. Someone must have let slip that I have a little experience in transporting barrels of ceruleum. So, this is Tapper's Dem. Well then, after you. Who are you? What happened to the guards? The Orsons and Rebels, here to save the people of Garlemald. 
That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why in the hells would you pass up this chance to put those Imperial bastards to the sword? Let me guess. None of you are Galleon. You were brought here from the other lands. Gurabania, Yansha, Bosia, Dalmasca, to name a few, but a few. Some dragged here against their will, others fed bollocks about better life, all put to work, extracted Cerulean. All given the esteemed title of Arn, placing us firmly on the bottom rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means nothing in the new Garlemald, says we. About the only thing that's escaped more or less unscathed is Cerulea engines, still sustaining us, even with our paymasters out of the picture. We hear you're experts in drawing up Cerulean from the bottom of the lake, but how can you do that if it's frozen over? Ha, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Cerulean is used for much these days, what with the city in ruins. We take enough pat to power our heaters and save the surplus for later. And though it helps stave off the cold, it does sod all about our hunger unless we can trade it away. Speaking of which, be sure to tell your contingent we've got Cerulean by the barrelful. If they're interested, we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. We could certainly ask, but if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go? Where? Even if we manage to get back to our homelands, there's nothing left for us thanks to the Empire, and the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemald. So we're staying here for the time being. As long as there's a need for Cerulean, we'll find a way to get by, even if Garlemald as we knew it is gone, and is gone for good. Gone for good? Regardless of what the Ilsebad contingent does for the people of Garlemald, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while for others, their whole way of life will have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that it's consigned to history, but what if the ordinary people, their lives, their stories, should they be forgotten too? Hmm, I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see about getting some Cerulean. When I played through this the first time, I had to pretend listening to a real British person read this dialogue in these awful accents is much more enjoyable. <laughs> um, Laketa would, um, Laketa is, is still trying to make out, like, I'm not where I'm from. Uh, I'm not from where I'm from, so I don't know. He might, he might say it's still not legit, but, you know, I, I'm going to take that as a compliment, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> So you've come seeking Cerulean, have you? What? Those pure bloods up at Victor's spoil sent you. To turn to their enemies for help. You must be more desperate than I thought. Then again, Licinia's got a little sister to think about. A sister? Oh, we only saw Licinia and three men. It's possible she died from whatever was ailing her. If she needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get it round here. I may have refused Licinia at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange. But I could spare them a bottle's worth of cerulean. Consider a reward for introducing me to the rest of your contingent. Be sure to send them our way, you hear? I can't for the life of me think why Licinia would keep her sister a secret from us. But we can ask about that after we've delivered this cerulean. Come on, let's hurry back. Her sister is someone we know. That's why. Her sister is someone we know. Who could it be? Who is it? Who are the... Who are the women from Garlemald that we've met? We've met the one from Castrum Meridium, but she's the sister of the lady from Ishgard, so it won't be her. Um, there's the one, Ner is it Nerva from 1.0? The one who summoned Dalamu, but she's dead, and we know that because one, she died in 1.0, and two, it was confirmed later on. Um... Any other... F I, I'm trying to think if there's any more women of Gollumold that we've met. For Dola, but obviously it's not her. And she's Alamegan anyway. Hmm. More common access. It really tickles your pickle. <laughs> oh, I. I'm tickling your pickle, am I? Oh, oh. <laughs> this isn't right. It's too quiet. I would have thought Alphano would still be treating them by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. 
I'll look inside the house while you search outside. They can't have gotten far. Watch out for those what's it baby things. Let's be ready for battle. They took the radio. It's not an accident. Where are they? Hoo-ya! Hoo-ya! Hey up, hey up, hey up, what's going on here now? What's going on here, hey? Explain. Explanation, please. They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies, but when I followed them back here, they attacked me. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they'd fared rather worse off than me. You can't fool us, we know. We know what you're about. Vultures, that's what you are. Waiting in the wings for us to show weakness. Then in your swoop. Here to help. What rot. All a ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Save the arguments for later. We've got bigger problems. I found empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. It's true. Licinia was hiding her sick sister inside the house. But now, there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. And if you think I'll tell you you're a fool, I'd never give up my people. We're trying to help them, you idiot. The sister's ill. The empty bottles prove it, so the medicine ran out. Or she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry. Or to avoid the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. You invade our homeland. Taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A Garlean should sooner die than suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, and be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how Lucinia and her sister will react when we find them, but find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to tend to my injuries. And nurse. I will join you in the search after. Alright. Be careful. We'll do our best to find them quickly. There's only one path out of here. So that's where we'll start. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be wearing my winter coat. I must be freezing. I saw that out quickly. I was supposed to be wearing my winter coat. Uh, no, not materia. Um, return. Uh, cast glamour. North Sea coat. Cast. Nice. There we go. That's better. Not so chilly now. I need to update my portrait in a bit as well. Oh, that's better. Much warmer. Much warmer. Eat thine very short pantaloons, my tighty whities. Crisco. Two sets of fresh footprints. Young women, judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come on. Come. Come. Come on. Come on. Come. 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 Come on. Come on. Come 
ำไอเดีย Could you get me a beer from the fridge, please? Why? Yeah, why not? I'm off tomorrow. It's Monday, but it's my Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I would say, I'm only asking for one beer. I'm not asking for a bottle of vodka to down, am I? <laughs> Monday night drinking. That was a weird ad for Booth. Get him a body. I don't want a vodka. I want a vodka. Do I know where your purse is? No, I've not seen it. The trail stops at the frozen lake. Perhaps they chose this route so as not to leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts. And I can only imagine how hard it must be for a hailing sister to cross the ice. We could really do with Alfredo's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up and look for clues. Oh, I'm gonna look for a raging clue. I mean, it won't be on this side. If it's gonna be anywhere, it might be on that table, but I doubt it. Otherwise, it could be in your bag. Oh, I haven't seen that in ages. I haven't seen that in literally ages, weeks. You're gonna have a whiskey while you're up, and you're gonna have a whiskey tumbler. Honestly. It's not a tumbler. You still got your Stella? Akira, how long ago was that? That was like. No. <laughs> yeah, it was a San Miguel anyway. <laughs> here it is, look! Akira, here it is! <laughs> I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> it's all that's left. <laughs> the empty bottle smells faintly of alcohol. The thin coating of dirt indicates it's been here for some time, and it's unlikely to have any connection to Lucinia or her sister. Zayas, yo, thank you for the sub with Prime as well. That reminded me to also resub. Hey, you now can um, can do your slappy blobbies and um, do free commands. Enjoy. Walked into that one. Hello there. Cheers for, uh, for, I was going to say for Reyes. Cheers for Zayas as well. Thank you. Dr. Zayas, Shush. Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. I might have to make that a redeem for just for Dr. Zayas. <laughs> hey, no worries, Reyes. Good night. Cheers for you as well, Reyes. Why not? Always. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the party assistance earlier. Um, I, I almost died twice because um, because the ads weren't pulled, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. I lived. It was fine. In the end, I was okay, but don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I did nearly die twice, but no, I'm only joking. Shush! <laughs> you pulled while I was still pulling the packs, but sure, it was, but of course. That's how it works. Oh, this doesn't look good, does it? Oh, no. Looks like Reyes has been tanking around here. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm joking. He was a perfectly fine tank. A perfectly good tank. Um, the blood staining the snow appears to be fresh. Judging by the amount, the victim may have been severely wounded. Um, it may be this massive crab that's just landed on my head. Maybe that did it. Um, you finished the Stormblood 24-man raid and unlock Shush. Bozja. Yeah, welcome to Bozja. Uh, there's a few of us doing Bozja at the moment. Um, I'm currently working on the second stage of my relic. Um, in fact, I've got my quest. Oh, it's gone off the list now, but I did have a quest on the right-hand side for it. Bozier and Badger, exactly. Um, I need to finish the Shadowbringers raid, actually. We still have the third one to do. What's Bozier? Um, It's basically... It's like a, a, a an area that is set aside from the main game, um, which has its own leveling rules. Um, and it's how you get your relic weapon for um, Shadowbringers. You have no idea what you're doing. You just go in and hit things. 
do all the fates that you can, level up, and get good stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually need to go back into Eureka. Um, I need to finish my Paladin's uh, Eureka off as well. Um, so that's something to be done. The Trail of Blood leads southeastwards. Okay, so we're going southeast. Um, it is fun, Haley. It's time-consuming, but it's fun, and you get a lot of good rewards for it. Yeah, a lot of good rewards. Um, for example... This is a weapon I got from Bozia. That's my Bozia Dark Knight weapon. Um, and then the Stormblood version, Eureka. That's the weapon I got for that. And I'm currently working on the Paladin version for Eureka. Yo, Shufflin as well has been reset. Oh, Shufflin, thank you for the sub. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. And you just started a hype train as well. GG, you just started a, a hype train. Um, this is my... Oh, no, it's uh, it's changed. Uh, I'm not going to cast the glam now. Oh, what I, what I could do is I could try it on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 listen. Listen here, no. Listen, th th listen here. Ma'am. <laughs> Those, th that outfit looks expensive. <laughs> let me, let me turn the filter off a sec. Um, I forget how to do it. How do I turn the filter off that? I don't know how well you can read that, and I don't know how to increase the font, so... We'll just have to, uh... Oh, there we go. Nope, that did nothing. That's chat prompt size. Yep, don't know how to increase it, but there we go. Uh, it was. We had a big bust a few days ago. Made a million gil. Isn't tax supposed to go back to the... Um, gov government? <laughs> oh no, Mr. Lee. <laughs> I think you're about to be run over. Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. DOH taxes are separate from the government. <laughs> this is the person who um, this is the person who fleeced me the other day, who was chasing me round. Um, and and my <laughs> there's a lion standing on her. Um, DOH taxes are separate. We're an independent third party. But. I am not affiliated with any third party. This is all seeming very sus to me. It's all seeming very sus to me. <laughs> it's just a He's just taking her out. <laughs> Did you at any point craft anything? I may have sewn a stitch or two. <laughs> Well, she's in there. She's in there. Yo! 
out Rasusu with the resub. Thank you. Are you being mean to Lala's again? No. I was about to cheers you, but no, no. There's there's a Lala here, and I'm just questioning that it, it's it's the same one. It's the same one from last time, Rasusu. And I'm just questioning. She's got some new threads. She's got some new threads. Um. She's level eight. Oh, you've she's leveled up. Um. I see you've leveled your skills quite a lot since we last met. She's actually leveled up like 23 levels. When, when we last saw her, she was a, a level 60 weaver, I think, and now she's level 83, which is higher than me. Um, I'm 80, so she's overtaken me. Um, that means you automatically fall into your jurisdiction. Um, uh, my friend Rasusu says you are cute. Would you like her details? <laughs> choo choo. Oh, yeah, the hype train. Thank you. Uh, oh, level two. Oh, very cool. And I got an e. What's this? Is that a chocobo emote? What is that? Got some like weird animated emo. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a dog. It's not a chocobo. Egg. Um. <laughs> hey, she's giving me a hundred thousand gil. Tax rebate. Wow. I feel like this has been some kind of dodgy investment scheme, but I'm not against it. <laughs> How's the turtles? You tell me, Rasusu. You tell me. Give her a plump worm. <laughs> She's too... No, she... Yeah. <laughs> Next time they find you, they want 150k. <laughs> Cycle of money laundering, what a mule is. Oh, no, no, no. I'm currently on vacation. I'd just like to help out the poor. <laughs> well, thank you for your service. <laughs> Sad one is missing. Yeah, I think I've fixed it. I think it's going to come this week. I think it's going to come this week. Um, so we, we, we should get a, we should see that come up this week. I was not being mean. We're having a very friendly conversation. We're having a very friendly conversation. Um, well, I better go. There's two lost ladies on this ice somewhere. And one is apparently bleeding. So I gotta do that whole warrior of light thing. <laughs> what would she think of you in your 100k? She just gave me 100k. Good luck. And congrats on the promotion. Enjoy your vacation. So, <laughs> that, that was fair. <laughs> I feel like I've got a nemesis in the game at the moment. I feel, I feel like I've got, like, uh, a nemesis developing in the game. I say what, if, if, if this, if this lady's dead, um, I'm gonna blame the Lala for distracting me. If she's dead, it's the Lala's fault, because I would have got there in time if it wasn't for her. <laughs> it's not looking good, though. It's not looking good. There's the radio. It's not looking good. It 
escape Lala. <laughs> the two bodies are already cold. Gigs! They didn't make it. Too busy bullying Lala. I, like, I wasn't bullying her. I was just validating that my my money was legitimately used. I don't think it was still. I think I think it was still not legitimate. But you know, who am I to argue with the tax collector? Two civilians said because you were dealing with your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> you failed. They died. I didn't fail. I'm gonna blame Ruka. I'm afraid so. Why? Why wouldn't they? Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. Just cast rays in it. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. Alfie. I heard the story. About Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand, so I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. On the radio. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Where, where are the other people who were here? They're just not interested in, uh... Okay. There must have been something we could have done. But what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? Pair of shoes. Gonna get a pair of shoes. We already, we've already caused them enough harm here. Let us return to camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them. Someone who isn't us. All we can do for now is make our report to Lucia and do everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. So let us linger here no more. Come, 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 come. Shush! Hey, I'm not the one who came up with the line. Silence! 
Still wasn't me. I just realized I could have teleported. Oh well. I quite like the ride. I quite like getting used... I've said this before, I quite like um, getting the feel for a new area. Um, taking, taking, the, taking the paths, this is the wrong path, but taking the paths to just kind of learn. Learn my way around. Copium for Razatan. What do you mean? Is that a very confusing place to get around? Oh, it didn't let me attune. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there is that, yeah. <laughs> there is that small detail. There's, there's our Lala fell again. Look, she's got a top hat on. She's got a little top hat. What is this outfit? That glam's adorable, I'm not going to lie. That, that's, an, that's an adorable glam. <laughs> that was an adorable glam. Alice and Alphano, uh, tell me they finished their preliminary search for survivors, but refrain from saying much more than that. Clearly, they're reluctant to provide details. May I ask for your account? I'm a bit jealous. I actually got a new top hat today, though, Rasuzu. I need to update my White Mage Glam, because I found a better one. I got a level 80 top hat, and it's amazing. Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. No worries, Corey. Thank you for the luck. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. Do share. No, oh, blimey! The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Yet. God, for crying out loud. Something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Gimlet Nerva Dark. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Illidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Indeed. 
But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Silence! While some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. Fuck's sake, the brightness! Ganimod's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. <sighs> so no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd seen shades. had been filling the Third Legion's <laughs> coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popular is determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Van Daniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. Hey. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemald. Hey. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. This isn't the time to show them your rash, Alpha, now. Oh, okay. Varus spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. Mm. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My <clears throat> friends, I must speak with you. I mean, okay. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Mm -mm. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. I think we do. Got him all that one all along, yeah. Spy radio from the shop, didn't it? Who do we Sorted. have here? Garlians? 
traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? Maxima does not give a hoot. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I am Lucia Junius, a Temple Knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pianobanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> He's an angry it man. If supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. Oh, for no Alice and myself. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Oh, for no. Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. No, I said it, didn't I? Alpha, no, Alize and me. May I ask why? James and two minions. We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Guardians face. Cooking show. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. Hey, Angel. How's it going? What would your mother say? Your mother, who I had a very great time with um, while you guys were getting uh, your new gifts and your clothes. Yeah, that was a good time, wasn't it? Sorry, what would she say if I let you two go by yourselves? Shush! <laughs> Mrs. Lavellia. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. In Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't played that yet. Couple of children and what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. My character's never said a word the entire game. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. You know, I'm uh, something of a gunbreaker myself. Well, not right now, but something of ah. oh my goodness I'm being I'm being attacked I'm being attacked where's my throw emote nah I'm not ready for this where is it oh my god I don't even know where it is this is the worst snowball fight ever <laughs> Throw! <laughs> Run! Hey, this isn't fair. You're, you're, you're teaming up on me. <laughs> this isn't fair. I gotta put this over here.
<laughs> Hang on, let me turn my emote log off because I'm spamming. I'm spamming the area with emotes. Look at this blue mage outfit she's got going on. What is what is all these glams? Where's she where's she get this this is a clown's hat? The clown's hat? Where 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 I like that one. That's a good hat. I like that hat. <laughs> how do you do, fellow gunbreaker? He actually breaks the gun when trying to use it. That's how good he is. <laughs> oh dear. Clown Glam is Mog Shop, you think? Ah, okay. Yeah, I was saying, wasn't I? I got a new top hat, um, which... Is it still... I might have put it in my glam chest already. Yeah, I have. I've already put it in my glamour chest. Those ladies died, by the way. Chat say it's because I was sorting out my taxes. But you should know. Just letting her know. <laughs> she disagrees. She disagrees. <laughs> she says it's not. She says it's not because of the taxes. I agree with you, to be honest. Don't blame your inability on time management on me. <laughs> Tell her you will never stop the bovine activities. <laughs> oh dear. Level 62 enemies and a level 60 Sam quest. Feck. <laughs> You're going to have to hit him hard, Bahamut. Hit him hard. Alas, it is what it is. What was that? Oh, it's Ruby. <laughs> this is like neon and the orange juice, James and the Lala. What is this about neon and the orange juice? I don't. I don't. This 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 person's been. Um, she's she's hustled me, and she is now. Um, she's now paid me back. So I'm not. I don't know what to make of all of this. I don't know what to make of it all. <laughs> You'll be received as invited guests, and so I urge you to observe the proper social etiquette and conduct yourselves accordingly. Your safe return takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Distraction, I know. Thancred in particular will be worried sick if you've gone too long. May the Fury watch over and keep you. Oh, he got reeled into a role-playing thing? Oh, is that what it is? Are you and the children ready? I will explain the route once you're outside your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to take appropriate measures. Entertain it for like two hours. This has been going on for about a week now. <laughs> I expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. I gotta go with that guy now. See you later. <laughs> All right, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill, then follow the road until we reach Liminal Station 4. Children in the lead. I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alice, and he's Alphano. And last but not least, there's James. James. Where have I heard that before? Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. No matter. Alphano and Alice will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you're to run, not saunter, run towards the station. If you even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures bar the way, we go around them. 
Once you choose to depart, Julius will accompany you. Alpha No and Alice A will then begin moving towards the destination. Make your way to Liminal Station 4 without falling behind. If you leave Julius behind for any reason or lose sight of Alpha No and Alice A, you may try again by return. Oh, crap. Ready to make a dash for the station? Yeah. Over that hill, right? So we just follow them? It's fine. We can do that. Watch out for the bear. No, crap! Run! Run! <laughs> he doesn't want us to, to, to fight, so... That's just how it be. Better not draw attention. That's the station, I presume. So are we going to, like, I wonder if we're going to come across Nerva or Titus. I think it's, is it going to be one of those two? the factions <laughs> this is it well the first stop that is good it looks like your friends knew better than to follow us are these your headquarters no we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers since it appears you've kept to your side of the bargain we carry on. North of the station is Reggio de Morum, one of the main residential areas. Or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in packs. They'll tear us to shreds if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off, understood? From here, we'll be heading northeast, keeping to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen? Aye. They spare their own but slaughter the rest without hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event you are seen, you need to fight them off. Okay, so we've got to fight this time. Those two will follow us, providing they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they'd be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. Okay. There just happened to be two of us doing the exact same quest at the exact same time here. <laughs> I see why your comrades chose you. Julius, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered as we call them. Your people would need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they're no longer our people. They're beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come. 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 We have to keep moving. <laughs> uh, this way. 
Shush! <laughs> when people tried to be woke. That was a long come. Sure. <laughs> you, you must be realizing by now how often they say it, right? I clipped said come. <laughs> okay. Hi. Don't mind me. I just got blamed for this. <laughs> uh, looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. It's a, it's a shame that Mr. Blobby was on the screen then because you um you totally missed you totally missed what an epic fight that was. I think that was the most epic fight I've ever had in Final Fantasy XIV. Actually, um, it truly was something amazing, uh, but short lived. Be a mood killer if someone did that midway. <laughs> oh god! The fighter against the tax official. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I state my hand before only out of a desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. Chuckles is a bad man. <laughs> Is it the same beats as you mining things for crafts? <laughs> oh, crap. Where am I supposed to be going? Chuckles is a bad man. <laughs> he is a bad man. <laughs> He's the baddest man. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Uh, Darth and Rizuzu. I need to fix that double alert. I need to. I, I, like, I don't know why it's doing it. Well, I kind of have an idea why it's doing it, but it's a lot of work to fix. Naughty Meg. Wait, over there. I just saw it on my mini-map. It's not on my big map, but it's on my mini-map. Look what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? Yes. Those exposed to a vast quantity of a primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you've seen those monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. He's a very angry man. I'm not going to lie. He's a very angry man. He is as angry as Chuckles is bad. Let that be some indication for you.
Listen, what are you on about? I was nowhere near. <laughs> We're almost there. You've kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine. This way. He didn't say come. I don't know if I should follow him or not. Where's the etherite? Is it underground? It's gonna be underground, isn't it? This is Tertium, one of Garlemald's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins ahead. I'll be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. There we go, it is underground. Theodora the Explorer. She clearly has no intention of speaking with you. I don't speak Spanish, so it's okay. Well, it's a it's a it's it's a capability thing, Rususu. It's not a personality thing. It's just that's the way it is. That's how it be. Just the fact of the matter. Dora the Explorer is. She speaks Spanish. It's plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed, and if Julius was willing to make the perilous journey to camp broken glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Victor's spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the other will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive, over there. That's another thing that Final Fantasies really enjoy, is trains. They love trains, don't they? Like, Final Fantasy VII starts with a train. Final Fantasy VI, you suplex one. Final Fantasy VII starts with a train. Eight has a whole train system and a, and a GF. Um, nine, I don't remember any trains, but that, oh, there's, there's the ones underneath Limblum. There, there are, there's a little train, little train there. Um, 10, but well, they didn't like Machina, so that's fine. 12, there's many train train lines. You don't see any trains, but there's many train lines. Um, 13 starts on a train. Uh, what about trains and sewers? I mean, that's what 12 does quite a lot, Heza. They love their trains. They love their trains. Just trying to sweep this elephant away, but it's not, it's not working. <laughs> I'll get that ether right in a minute. First of all, let's just follow the quest. Oh, sorry, wrong carriage. Wrong carriage, don't mind me. Imposing commander. I wonder if he'll say come. These are their chosen representatives. We can only hope. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Titus or Nerva? Yes, sir. I'm going to go with Titus. 
I present to you our commander, Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus of the First Legion. Well, it was none of them. It's from Final Fantasy IX, that name. I had no idea you had survived. We lost our emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. Aye. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. Hey, Sordeo, how's it going? We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. The war he's that him and his bloody mate started, eh? Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. Oh no! Oh, your paltry scraps when you invaded the entire world and made an empire. Oh, oh no, with your scraps. It was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. All right, we're not here for a lecture, so sort yourself out. Do you I need do help or not? A great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Exactly. Thank you, Alpha. No, get him back on track. Hey, don't worry about it, Sodeo. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. Yeah, that's how bartering works. Well done. After compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here. And all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? I like his armor up to the neck. That neck frill is a bit... Answer me this, Not good. young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ. That we cherish and hold in the highest 
that which you do not. Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. Yeah, we're not convincing him, are we? That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. Hey up, what's this now? Oh, that's a bad idea. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you. If you cooperate. Ah, uh, why are we surrendering? We will not Come resist. On. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up. As by dawn, you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment. But there is one condition. Collar them. Eh? Your filthy fingers off my neck. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. Oh, yes, you keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Damn right. Yeah, back off, mate. Even if he allowed himself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If he refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. You need to worry about us. <laughs> we'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Oh, both of those are a bit crappy responses because what even the, the most doing? bitter adversary may one day see reason. What the dog doing? Oh, I'm glad that that was dark. You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. He looked a bit surprised. Mate, put that lance away or I'm going to shove it somewhere that you are not going to enjoy. Level up! I sold a fish on the market boards for 184 gil. So what did he say? Uh, if we if we make any aggressive moves, if we do anything bad, they're going to shock the twins, is what he said. I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, come at me. I'll sink to this in a minute. As per Lord Quintus' instructions, I am to supervise you during your time here in Tertium. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any other means to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was that merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean. Or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his decision. Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, trying to trick our people into turning their coats and the like, those shock collars will be the least of your worries. Understood? Though we're somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can of their situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. Ow, oh, I wish she told me that earlier. You, on the other hand, may go to wheresoever you wish, even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. But do not forget, if you do anything that to endanger us or our interests, Alphano and Alice will pay the price. You came with Julius, didn't you? Well, whatever business brought you here, you best keep your hands off that etherite. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the city, built by Garlians, four Garlians. Could teleport all over in the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the etherite's power to keep this place lit, and that comes at the cost of its normal function. Ah, oh, bastard, so I can't even sync with it. Bastard. Tempted to make them pay the price, if only I could. If only I could. You see, uh, you see, you see Darth laughing at me there because I couldn't sink. Did you, did you hear that? That laughing was Darth having a good old, uh, having a good old giggle at my lack of ability to synchronize with that thing. <laughs> Octavia, it's you, James Lee. We all laugh at your lack of ability. Uh, I served under Lord Gaius in the 14th Legion. I was there on the night the Praetorium fell. You and your adventurers. You killed them. My comrades, my friends. Swept them aside in their dozens as though they were nothing to you. And maybe I am too. Just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return. Until you get what you deserve. Mark my words. What happened? <laughs> We're just going to back away over here. So cold. This young soldier is on the verge of losing consciousness. Oh, have I got a tincture, 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 no tincture. No tincture. This radio is the same model as the one used that Victor spoils. Perhaps it's what saved the soldiers here from being tempered. I know who you are. The so-called champion of Eorzea. Come to gloat, have you? I wipe that smirk off your face by the blood of our fallen compatriots. I swear I... Uh, damn. It's all the sutures. Of all the times... The worst of the lot within striking distance, and I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for the third bleedness, we'd be the end of you. Virgilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape. Took shelter in a mansion, tended to the wounded as we prepared to strike back, and then... Night fell. We gathered round the radio. Then the roar. The terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were spurred. If you can call this a mercy... Mind intact, but body broken. Soldier in name alone. I'll cut you down where, I, where you stand if I could. Murderer. They won't sell anything to me. Sales not allowed. Hey up, Alfie. 
Did you learn anything of note? They hate us, mate. And your findings are consistent with my own. The plight is desperate indeed. The sick and injured are at greatest risk without proper, without warmth and proper nutrition. I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me to tend to them? Whoop. Hey, Flavius. How's it going? You look a, you look a bit bad there. Shall we touch you on the head? Stroke your head a little bit? Yeah, who's there? My eyes, they... I can't see all that well. Oh, thank you, the numbness has subsided a little, but I know. I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. Me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day. So be it. At least I can still serve in that way. Everybody gets one. <laughs> That's from Family Guy, isn't he? He's like, what was that? And he's like, everyone gets one, apparently. <laughs> so those you met fair no better. I was afraid you would say that. I know we were warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have the contingent deliver supplies. Quintus may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize they're not in a position to refuse help. Maybe Julius could persuade him, but we need to persuade Julius first. Hey, Julius. 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 Julie. 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 Hello. Let's have a chat, mate. Well, seen enough. Julius, the people here barely have enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions from the nearby houses, as most families keep kept rather. Shush. Some stored away in the event they were snowed in. Still, going out and getting it is dangerous work, and we've a lot of mouths to feed. Fuel is the greater concern, though. We had some ceruleum set aside until it was stolen. We haven't identified the culprit. Could have been other refugees or one of the afflicted, for all we know. Either way, we're down to our last dregs. Without the heating they need, those in poor health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's ceruleum you need, our contingent has secured a ready supply. We can have some sent over. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. Aye, everything will change. One of your comrades mentioned something along those lines. I heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you could do to interfere, so there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. Or in the bastard's words, loyal servant of the Telepharoi. Then, he made his way inside the Imperial Palace. Or what stands in its place. We'd identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realized. Lord Quintus dispatched the messenger to the 10th Legion, saying as much, and instructed them to join forces with the Provincial Legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telepharoi. Once our allies arrive, your contingent will be sent running for the hills. Then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. And how do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Garlemald. They need help now. Say the word, and we will bring you Ceruleum. I will speak with Lord Quintus. Hey, GG, Bahamut. You're on the road. You're on the path. Quintus says no. So, did he agree to it? No, he will not place Garlemald in the debt of her enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Ceruleum outside. As you're under my watch, you will come with me. I thought we were supposed to be restrained here. Very well. After all, many hands make light work. Oh, you lot are more trouble than you're worth. Once we're outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter. We depart shortly. Is it bad that I want to see Alphano get a shock? 
Is it bad that I want to see that happen? I kind of think it's not. I think it's fine. Oh, we're up to level 83 quests. We will begin our search for Ceruleum in Regio Urbanissima. Urbanissima. The first location is Forum Solius, a park to the northwest of this station. You to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. He didn't say come. He didn't say come. See if you can finish Battle on Big Bridge next. I'm uh I'm at the, I I did some Hildebrand today. I'm up to this one. Eight armed and dangerous. Raging rat suspects that Avila's renowned Tempest Blade is some sort of sorcery. So that's uh speak with Hildebrand in the Coliseum. I'm making my way through this one. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Merit, hello there. This place has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh my god, I've been forgetting to do this. I mean, there's one there. I mean, there's no point in me doing that, but... Oh, crap, I've been forgetting to do my ether currents. So much to do. Do you want to do them legit, Dark Bahamut, or are you just wanting to tick them off your list? Because we could do uh, Ramu, Shiva, Garuda, King Mog, and Leviathan in like seconds. <laughs> like literal seconds. <laughs> I'm not joking, it would be a joke. Wait, that doesn't make sense. 304 west. That way, okay, it's fine. Tick him off your list. All right. Tell you what, give us a sec. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. And when I get back, we'll get a party together and we'll get him cracked out. He might know the answer to that. So this is the park. I'm surprised they found the space for one amongst all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. This park was named after the founding father of the empire, the great Solus Zos Galvus. Oh, there you go, L1 and right stick. Try that, you figured it out, yeah. Did we come to extract Ceruleum from the wrecked Magitek armor? No, we've already drained it dry. Same goes for the rest of the machina in the vicinity. But as our ceruleum has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try one more time, in case something's been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we will commence the search. Closer inspection of wrecked Magitek armor confirms that the fuel canisters have long since been drained of ceruleum, as Judas said. Julius weren't telling us fibs, were he? He weren't telling us fibs.
Though rather small by Garlean standards, the structure is reminiscent of a merchant's stall. Perhaps it was built for children to play at shopkeeper. There is nothing inside resembling Magitek or any other devices that would be fueled by Ceruleum. You did hold up ARR with a zoomed in view. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i i remember when i was first playing i used to play like like this and i used to be like oh you know i don't want to have one of those really far out helicopter cameras but actually it's necessary to see attacks coming from behind you um and just to be able to kind of get a good view of the whole field um Renvalo Yusuf refused to play anyway, but over the shoulder, up close, he promptly gave up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would do it. Several points of interest are marked on the map. Forum Solius, the pond, children's play areas. To your knowledge, however, none would require the use of Cerulean. Zoom that shit fully out, you're gonna need it. Yeah, exactly. Vision is impaired. Hey, there's a viewpoint on top of that slide. Why why have we come to a children's playground for fuel? This doesn't make any sense. Why would we come here? This 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 reeks more of that jewelist guy just kind of trying to go, hey look, we have children too. Omni Dreamer playing in first person VR like a madman. I know, I don't understand how that even works. Like, I was playing, I was playing like this just the other day. And it was crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I couldn't even see the AOE under my own feet. The contraption is built in the style of an Imperial War Machina, armed with a battery of weapons and capable of transforming into different configurations. But on closer inspection, it appears to be no more than a children's slide. Look, this is, this is how Omni Dreamer plays. Like this. First person. <laughs> it must be jarring when the cutscenes play. Oh, it's you. Any luck? There's no sign of any ceruleum. Hmm. Hardly surprising, but disappointing nonetheless. I couldn't help noticing you gazing at the pond. Is something the matter? What? Yes, uh, I mean, no, I'm... It's just they used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over, so like all the other children, they just had to wade in and splash about. Would have stayed there if I didn't drag him out. He'd be sopping wet when all was said and done. Every time. Hey, the pond isn't isn't the pond is melt is melted. So there's something heating up the pond, right? And every time when we get home, mother would scold us, saying we catch our death walking around like that. The pond was heated. With a cerulean powered heater by chance? I suppose it must have been. Come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers changing out a tank beneath a hatch. That was a long time ago, when the water still flowed clear and wasn't this brackish muck. We can't see a thing and I can't remember where the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth in there is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. I'd wager it's still unbearably cold though. Julius, what are your thoughts on magic? The average Garlean would jump out of their skin if they saw it, but the first is a few foreign signi signifery and medici, so it doesn't scare me. And I take it you won't mind if I employ a little now. Alphano, as you have a knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, once that's done, a blast of verfire should do the trick. Leave it to me. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. That tank isn't going to fetch itself. 
It's nothing so involved as extracting unprocessed cerulean from a frozen lake, like how the tappers do it. We're talking about a shallow pond in a park, and we have a way of warming ourselves up after. But that's insane. So, fancy a dip? Mocking Alfie's ability to get his wood wet? Oh my god. <laughs> Field of view is insane. That can probably just tilt his eyes up and down to see AoEs. Maybe, yeah. A little friendly competition might make things interesting. Last one to find a ceruleum tank is a rotten egg. Uh, though I dare say we'll both smell like rotten eggs when this is over. First person playing. You delve into the murky water, became up empty handed. To add injury to insult, the icy wind on your damp clothing chills you to the bone. Oh, we're chilled to the bone. Oh no. You delve into the murky water, come up empty handed. Ah, chilled to the bone again. How terrible. Beneath the water, your fingers catch on what you think might be a handle. Excellent, I'm holding nothing. You open the hatch and retrieve a ceruleum tank. I am a good tank. I'm very cold. I'm cold tank. However, your grand discovery comes at great personal cost, as you become acutely aware of the freezing cold and a rancid odour emanating from every ilm of your body. Julius would doubtless feel compelled to pinch his nose shut when you deliver to him your prize. I'm the chilly, chilly warrior of light. James, when he finds a plump worm. Oh, hi. Come on, Alice, get yourself out of here, all right? You found him. There must be another one around here somewhere. Get out of there, Alice. Come on. Did you find anything? I hope you did. That's it. And there's still some ceruleum left. Ah, the fire's still not ready. Hold on, I'll give Alpha no hand. Call me an old Dawn, because by fire I am reborn, and my clothes are mostly dry now too. I appreciate you recovering the ceruleum, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way you've been treated, in Lord Quintus's eyes you're still envoys deserving of protection. If you were to die on my watch, you would be most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. Julius, you mentioned coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contribution to the Empire, awarded an estate. We lived well, better than many. What was Garlemald like in those days? Everything. It was everything you could imagine, and so much more. Even during the coldest winters, we always found warmth and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat and sitting down for a hot meal with family, visiting friends and relatives, receiving that same welcome, knowing they had everything they needed. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song, of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in that brief respite, the ice would melt and the forgotten grass make its triumphant return. Grey clouds gave way to blue skies. Some mornings we climbed to the top of the tallest building we could find just to watch the sunrise. Never again. Those rooftops are rubble. Those fiends dead. Those friends dead. And those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had. 
soon. Our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. Me and CEX is like you and Steam Sales. You saw nothing. <laughs> Good luck getting around to that. I am I'm probably going to make a, a specific attempt at this. Um, I was even thinking of maybe classing it as part of the marathon. Because this was originally meant to be a Final Fantasy, right? So, uh, I do think I will... I will make the effort. All right, now that you've recovered from your escapades in the pond, there's another location I'd like to search, just outside the park. Saying that, I said that about Golden Sun as well, didn't I? I need to get around to that at some point. And the Dragon Age game is coming out. That's all happening. As you can see, this place is littered with the remnants of various types of war machina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the less damaged units, those that took a more severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, that time being now. Rather than prise them apart piece by piece, it would be quicker to remove the outer casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Though the force generated by these devices is relatively weak, I would advise you stand well clear to avoid being hit by any shrapnel. Before even bothering, though, you should check the Machinist Cerulean gauge to see if there's any left. Just still provide an accurate reading, even when the unit itself is inactive. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use an explosive or not. Should you need more, come to me. Understood, let's get to work. If you want to know the game that actually helped build up some of the same skills F14 raiding has? Check out a game called Rabbit and Steel. You've been having fun with it. Rabbit and Steel? Interesting. This unit's fuel tank is empty. No. Cerulean gauge on this unit appears to have been broken, giving you no way to determine how much fuel its tank may hold. Well, I'm not going to waste the bomb on it. I'm going to look around some more. The Cerulean gauge on this unit appears to have been broken. Is it an MMO? Reacting to telegraph to track. Pretty interesting to see a game built entirely around it. Is it is it an MMO or is it just a single play thing? What, uh, do any of them have a working gauge? The only one that was working said there was nothing in it. Okay, that one's empty as well. What the hell? Is there not a single one that is actually full? I don't believe it. There must be one. At least one. In before is the one you said you won't waste the bomb on, yeah. <laughs> Multiplayer is all friends, but you haven't tried that. I'm out of the zone. I'm out of touch. Yo, Julius, mate. Julius. What is this? You said that there would be... Some, at least, but there's none. Julius. Explain yourself. Not a single one has a working gauge. These fabrications, fabrications, I will not stand for it. Well, 
Well, we're just going to have to start using it, right? I mean, okay. Got to restart ARR to fix it. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> All right, let's try this one then. Oh, fucky. Completely empty. Oh no! I need more bombs! More bombs, please. Yeah, there's no, there's no, not a single. He's like, oh yeah, be sure to check the gauge first. Like I haven't been looking at the damn gauges. Like I haven't walked around this entire flipping area and looked at the gauge on every single bloody one of them. I bet you the first two are always, um, always empty to force that conversation. It's still half full or half empty, depending on one's perspective. Either way, Julius will surely be pleased by your discovery. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? I just needed that one. Okay, never mind. Have you tried looking at the... I did look at the gauges. I gauged their worth and found them wanting. More explosives. Wait, is that what I think it is? You're damn right it is. Take your ceruleum tank. You've done it again. Truly, luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we were heading back. Wait here while I go see how Alice and Alpha are faring. You want to watch a Knight's Tale again now? Amazing movie? I haven't seen it. Did I just inadvertently quote something? <laughs> it's the one with Heath Ledger, right? I know of it, but I've not I've not actually seen it. Close to a quote from it. Cannot recommend it enough, really. Okay. Everyone went to cinema. Oh, you escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Oh, hello. What's this now? Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Okay. After you left with the Guardian lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged sometime later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Is he... Gators himself, eh? Is he just hiding behind that rock over there? This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development, and perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news, but it's still too early to get our hopes up. 
For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Guardians make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. Listen, he has the benefit of being scripted. I do not have such they had not gone far. such fortune. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Faloop literally hasn't had a single fate pop this entire stream. Where's Ixian? I just need one more Ixian. Oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for Ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom. Mind your own business. Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. No one reporting properly. That's sad. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. Uh, it's a poor attempt at humour. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. You know, all the hardships that they're going through, but that guy can still afford his blue hair dye, can't he? He's not letting that go. Use what you've procured to refuel the armor. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. When's Alphano going to get shocked? He meant that they're not going to sit around anymore. They're actually going to I do things. Speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. It's going to do things. Whether they plan to utilize it now or after they join with the 10th is another question. Ever escape this cold? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eulus spoke? Eulus. That's how you say his name. Eulus. Finished your war, Council? Alphino and Alize are to stay here as our prisoners. Wow. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Oh, that's not going to happen. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? I 
He's going to do it. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Guardians make, indulge them. Do as he says. Damn it. Didn't want to really do that. Go on, press it. Ah, damn it. Get them out of here. Coward. Press it. <laughs> do as he says, not as he do. Stoic nod means good, yes. Hey, it's, it's so Atikin, hello. Good day, mate. <laughs> I like that bike. I like that bike. It's a nice bike. Alphano and Alice. This, but this person's called Jam Tart. Alphano and Alice will be fine, providing they do not resist. Yo, Mum's Den! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Alphano and Alice will be fine, provided they do not resist. I'm not going to say... No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the bigger man than Neon. Neon would go there. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say these things. I'm not going to make those jokes. I'm not going to make those jokes, because... Because... Because we are all more mature than that. Okay. Well, we're, we're in, I was I was warning about the uh, the 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 Taxal Alafel. Watch out for her. Um, we're gonna crack on. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see where we get to. Squirrels and unicorns. Yeah, we haven't seen it in a while. You're busy enough dealing with Neon's light drizzle, apparently. Neon, thank you for the resub. What if that Lala is actually secretly Vicky or someone working for her? I very much doubt it. Very much doubt it. Vicky wouldn't have the patience to learn all those emotes. I know for a fact. <laughs> you will accompany back to your camp where I will meet with your leader and prevent, uh, present Lord Quintus's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies, the supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to the to Legionnaires Marcelli, Marcellinus and Octavia, who will pilot Magitek armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we're leaving shortly. Tell them to ask the eel, a eel for further details. Ask the eel for further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, meet me by the exit. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, Neon, I, I was warned that you were getting close, to, that you were in spoiler territory for Endwalker uh, the other day. Did you finish it? Did you complete Endwalker? You again. What was that message? Ask the e Oh yeah, I don't have to remember it. You didn't? You're still going? What are you on level 90 quests now then? So that's to be the way of it, after all this. 89. How ironic that you should be the one to deliver the news. If those are my orders, then so be it. For the glory of Garlemald. Okay. Need a lift? No, no, thank you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to explore the maps uh, and, and get to know the areas. So I'm just kind of driving around and uh, I'm trying to get a feel for the maps myself. Um, I like to kind of just uh, absorb it. You know, you know what I mean. Like um, I drive on the roads and I try and kind of mentally remember how to get everywhere. Uh, but thank you for the offer. Uh, what do you want with me? You're here two minutes and already got yourself into pinned comments. <laughs> That's the eel. So Lord Quintus has reached the decision. I knew he would understand that he would recognize the savage is a ruthless, merciless creature, and to defeat him, we too must be uncompromising. I am ready. In the name of Emperor Varus, for the glory of Garlemald, I will fulfill my duty. Nothing to do with not getting to attune to Ether, right? Now, why can't I attune yet? I got all the fuel and everything. Uh, I'll race you, though. 
I'll race you, Panzer. Let's go. Head start. Oh, you don't know where we're going. <laughs> I just realized you don't have a quest marker. <laughs> I think I'm winning this race, thanks. <laughs> Only to hear. Close one. Have you done as instructed? What do you mean by ask the eel? I will race you to a location I've not yet informed you of. Corey, welcome back. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to divulge that. What I can say is this. You have no cause for concern if our demands are met. You and I are in this together now. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. There is one other matter. A place I'd like to visit on the way to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. Four three seven west. Ooh. Yeah, I know it's one in the morning, but I'm not in work tomorrow, so it's okay. Hey, you're flying. That's not fair. You you're flying. <laughs> Do, 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 I won't be up as early as I get up to for work. But I will be finishing soon. I will be finishing soon. Just because... Uh, well, one, um, I will be finishing because I do actually have to get up and, and do things tomorrow. But secondly, the servers are going for maintenance soonish. And I want to finish before that happens. Odin is on Raiden. Ooh. Uh, Julius lingers by the rules. Reluctant to leave. And, uh, okay, Julius, go away. No. No, I, 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 we'll, we'll come back to you. Uh, right. And say thank you to everyone who supported the stream today. Um, I'm sorry for traumatizing you all. Um, that wasn't intentional, but it just seemed to happen anyway. Um, Miona Lisa when? <laughs> you have some ideas? Ooh. <laughs> Don't need to get in the club with this. Uh, Platinum Steel, thank you for the follow today. Um, Darth and Rasusu, and also Cobra Bubbles on the sound alerts, and Sodeo on the sound alerts. Uh, thank you for the bits today. Resubs today from Haley, from Cobra Bubbles, from Neon, from Panic, from Rasusu, from Shuffle, and from Zayas. Thank you for all the uh, from all the resubs today. Mom's Den, thank you for the raid. Everyone, please drop a follow on Mom's Den immediately. If you're not following her, drop a follow on her right this very second. Um, mods, thanks for modding. Vips, thanks for vipping. Chatters, thanks for chatting. I'm also going to head to bed soon, um, so don't you worry. Um, I'm also going to be out of here. Oh, that was an odd end to the stream, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, it's not the end I expected, but it's the end that we deserved. So let's find who we're going to raid to. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm searching. I'm gonna find someone. <laughs> 